more compelling internal evidence. Incidental details were included. If the Bible was written to impress and fool people, why are regular details included? Consider the following passages that would have been left out if it were a book designed to fool the masses. John 20, 3 and 4. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. 2 Timothy 4, 13. When you come, be sure to bring the coat I left with Carpus at Troas and bring my books, especially my papers. New Living Translation. Calmness beyond man. The calm presentation of events shows great restraint not normally present in man's writings. If this were an historic piece whose purpose is to record happenings, it may present itself in this manner, but it claims to be much more than that. All of the events in the Bible, whether commonplace or miraculous, are described in very matter-of-fact writing style. Compare the calmness of the Bible with typical letters to the editor. You don't normally see emotions in check very well in those. Read the matter-of-fact tone in an account of one of the greatest prophets' unjust death. On Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced for them and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he ordered that her request be granted and had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who carried it to her mother. John's disciples came and took his body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. Matthew 14, 6-12, New International Version. The brevity of the Bible stands as evidence. Many incidents in the Bible are only lightly touched. That's understandable if they are incidental or insignificant. But many major events are given very little space, such as the creation, the fall of man into sin, and the first apostle to be martyred. Batsell Barrett Baxter wrote, The average sports reporter takes more space to tell about a high school basketball game than Moses was guided to take in telling about the creation of the universe. From I Believe Because. Consider the first apostle to be martyred, James. The account is found in Acts chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hands to harass some of the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. We would write all sorts of things about this. We would list the importance of James, show the terrible tragedy of such a great man murdered, and present the possible implications to the early church. But the Bible is very short and to the point. How many pages are in the average autobiography? Look at the New Testament and see how many pages there are in the books that deal with Jesus' life. The first four books of the New Testament centered on Jesus are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There are far less pages than any modern attempts at writing about an individual's life. Billy Graham's autobiography, Just As I Am, is well over 700 pages. This shows the difference in content from the most influential spiritual man who ever lived, Jesus, to one of the most influential ones on this continent in the last generation. The contrast is striking. Unguided men would not write with such restraint. Baxter stated, The total life of Christ covered more than 12,000 days. His active ministry, more than 1,270 days. Yet, the gospel narratives cover events that happened on only 34 days of Christ's life. From, I believe, because. Look at the amount of space that could have been taken for the most influential man in history. And there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. 
Amen. John 21, verse 25, King James Version. Mere man could not have written this book. It is impossible for man to have written this book on his own. The tremendous amount of unity could not have been accomplished with the number of authors and span of time involved. The only way this could be achieved is with a master designer overseeing each author and every part of the writing. Just as a puzzle fits together nicely, so the 66 books of the Bible join perfectly. It would have been an impossible job to bring together a large group of writers from such a wide span of time to write a masterpiece of deception successfully. If man wrote the Bible to fool people into believing it is a word from our Creator, a lot of its content would not have survived the cut of the editor. If this was just man's writings, much would be excluded, and yet many other events would be expounded to such an extent it would make a full-size set of encyclopedias look small. As it is, God chose what to include and what to leave out. And He did it for you with the Bible's compelling evidence in mind.